Hi everybody, today I'm going to do a tutorial on to how to make a oil and filter change sticker uh, using the Dymo uh, Label Writer 450. So here we go. First thing you have to do is install the disk that came with the printer or go to the Dymo website and download the latest uh, software for your printer. Once you've uploaded the software, you then click on this little icon here, install the printer, so here we go. I use the one and a quarter by two and a quarter. However, this may not be your first option. It may show up as an address label over here. So once you have the software open, you go to your, uh, let's see here, multi-purpose labels, and you find the one that's in your printer. Uh, like I said, I've used the one and a quarter by two and a quarter. This guy right here. Click on that. It'll give you all these different options. Okay, I just like to use the blank one. Okay, so now you have this set up on, these are the, uh, if you look over here, the measurements are two and a quarter by one and a quarter, or, you know, one and a quarter by two and a quarter, and it is confirmed down here. Okay, so next we want to do is we want to insert your company's logo. To, comp to put your company's logo into the system as a default logo, you can go to Edit, Preferences, it'll pull up this window right here. Uh, this is our black and white one, uh, which is not an updated one. So I just, I just put that there so I can show you uh, what you're going to do. On mine, I'm going to use this guy right here, uh, the print one. Okay, so click on that, hit OK. Uh, I want to insert the logo onto the sticker so it prints out every single time. So now there's my cust there's my default logo. Horizontal alignment, that's left to right. I'm gonna put it at the top left. Okay, so I want the left side for horizontal. For vertical, I want it at the top. You can choose borders if you want. Um, you can make it proportional. I suggest making it proportional and um, no borders. Okay, click on that. There's your logo at the bottom there. So the logo would print out really, really small. I wanna make it nice and big so customers can see it. Now, right now it's showing in color, but when it prints, this is a thermal printer, it will show up in black and white. Um, that's not important. So we'll just get this guy here, size it, and then click somewhere else to unselect it. All right, so now we got your logo up there. I'm going to add a text box. Somewhere up here, you can put in um, your phone number. and it's going to shrink to fit, okay? So you don't have to worry about that. So you put in your phone number there. Uh, let's see, get this guy here so it's out of the way. Um, you know, if you wanna put the phone number on the bottom, you can do that. Again, this is a total personal choice, whatever you wanna do. Let me create another text box. Type in Next service do on, there you go. Okay. Now I'm gonna put date. Okay, I'm going to make another text box. I'm gonna put in mileage. And the reason why I'm doing different windows for all of these is I'm trying to do it so that the text can't accidentally go in and change these 
So I'm going to give them their own little text boxes to put in the date and the mileage. Okay. So here I'm going to move this so it's over here. Bring it down. So now this is where your company policy dictates what you're going to type in. So today is December 29th, 2016. If you want to do it six months from now, then, you know, we're going to do January, February, March, April, May, June. Okay, so June 29th, 2016. So we're going to make it easy today. You'd want it to come back in 5,000 miles. The car has 75,000 miles. You add 5,000 miles to it. You know, if you can't figure it out, that's what there's a calculator on most computers for. So let's just say, all right, just go ahead. 80, let's just say the car is 75,350 plus five, I'm going to say 7,500 miles. That's 82,850. Okay. So 82,850. Uh, don't like how that came out. So I'm just going to do this. There we go. So as you saw, all I did is I, I didn't like how it wasn't level with the mileage. So I hit the increase font size button here and that made it larger. Uh, you can make it bold, make the whole thing in bold if you want. So that's what pops. Um, you could uh, not make it in bold. You could put the phone number in bold. Um, Everything is all there. So you can kind of, again, you can move things around. I'm just going to do this. Okay. All right. So now I like the way it looks. So now when the technicians, all the technicians need to do is click on this guy, delete the information from the previous person. And uh, let's say it's, uh, you know, they're going to come back on January 1st. Uh, 2017 so we want six months from them so we're gonna say June 1st 2017 Actually, it's gonna be July isn't gonna isn't it seven zero one seventeen mileage is current mileage on the car is uh, 112 450 to 450 plus 7500 miles 119 950 There you go. Okay, now the next step is you just click on the print button. And that's it. Um, so you can see it. Now we've done all this work. We want to make sure that we save it. Okay, that's really simple. Click on the little save button right there. It's going to ask you where do you want to save it to. It doesn't really matter. Save it to, you know, oil and filter if you want and click on save because you just let it choose where it's going to save it and then hit the save button. It's going to ask you if it already exists. Yes. Uh, I'm going to override that. And there we go. Now it's saved it. That way, if somebody goes in and, you know, changes and they want to print something else. Um, so if somebody changes the setting, say they uh, put in a totally different stick and you're like, oh, shoot, I did all that work. Where is it? Um, go to the save labels button. Just click on that or double click on it. There you go. Um, so again, uh, thank you everybody. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the uh, little uh, somewhere down here comment section down below. Uh, also, you'll see a thumbs up. Uh, please give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it and subscribe to the channel. Talk to you later. Bye.